The Iranian foreign minister was upbeat about the framework deal reached in Switzerland on April 2nd, which will limit Iran's nuclear program but lift international sanctions. He told the audience at NYU the parties will be working nonstop to reach a final agreement by June 30th. It's not a perfect agreement. It's not perfect for us. It's not perfect for the United States. It's not perfect for um, our European Union partners, but it's the best we can get. It's the best anybody can get. Uh, and it's balanced, in my view. The UN Security Council has imposed four rounds of targeted sanctions on Iran since 2006 for its nuclear program, which the six powers believe could have a military dimension. Zarif said if the June 30th final agreement is reached, he expects the Security Council will adopt a resolution within a few days to endorse the deal and set in motion the process for lifting sanctions. The resolution will endorse uh, the agreement, will terminate all previous resolutions, including all sanctions, will set in place the termination of EU sanctions and the cessation of application of U.S. sanctions. But there has been pushback by a number of U.S. lawmakers on the deal. They say Iran can't be trusted because of its threats against Israel and past support for terrorist groups. Yet Zarif said the U.S. would be bound by international law to follow through with any agreement the Obama administration signs. I believe the United States will risk isolating itself in the world if there is an agreement and it decides to break it. On Tuesday, Iranian naval forces boarded a Marshall Islands flagship in the Persian Gulf. Asked about the incident Wednesday, Zarif said it had to do with an old commercial legal matter involving the ship, not a security or political issue. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, New York.